Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial I will show you an easy and step-by-step -step way to find the standard deviation, variance, mean, median, mode and range for the given data. So the very first step is I want to make sure that the given data has been rearranged from lowest to highest order. That means in an ascending order. You can see that it starts off with the lowest value and goes all the way to the highest which is 28. So the very first thing we want to find out is median. Median is nothing more than just a middle number. Look at what is the median over here. Of course obviously 15 is a median number because three values is on the left hand side and three values on the right hand side so median is 15. So what is the mode by the way? Mode is simply the number the values that show up most number of times over here you can see 11 is showing up twice and 20 is showing up twice as well so that means we have a two modes which one are what? 11 and 20 are our modes and they are showing up how many times? They are showing up twice. Finally our range is simply what? Range is over here which look at the lowest value is what? The smallest value is 7 and the highest value the maximum value is what? 28. So range is simply what? The biggest number minus the smallest number. The biggest number is what? 28 and minus you put always a minus and the smallest number is what seven and you subtract simply that turns out to be 21 that is our range and finally median of finally mean i'm talking about mean which is represented by x bar mean is x bar over you see this means the formula is what sum of the x values that means all the data values divided by the total number of values so we want to add these one up so this is going to be x bar is going to be simply add all these value up so 7 plus 11 plus 11 plus 15 plus 20 plus 20 plus 28 add them up divided by look at this thing how much how many values are there to data size are the sample size is what seven so if you add the top part which is what 112 divided by seven is gonna give you what 16 so 16 turns out to be our mean so in this step we will go ahead and fill out all our data values which we call x values in this table as you can see these one the very first column on the left hand side i put down all data values from 7 all the way to 28 and i'm going to call them x values the next column i put down all our mean values which is we call it x bar we figured out these values in the previous step as you can see these one so the next step i want you to find x minus x bar means x the first column minus the second column 7 minus 16 is what negative 9 likewise 11 minus 16 is gonna be negative 5 11 minus 16 is again negative 5 and that's going to turns out to be negative 1 this is 4 this is 4 this is what 12 see how we got it we just simply subtracted these two values and the final column the right hand side what we're going to do is we're going to square the values that we just figured out so negative 9 squared negative 5 squared all the way so this negative 9 squared becomes 81 so negative 5 squared becomes 25, 25, 1, 16, 16, and 144.
that's the very first step we did this one now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these numbers up on the this last column and this is we will call summation sigma notation of x minus x bar square that means we are adding up all the sigma means simply add them up so once we add these things up this turns out to be a what three zero eight and now we want to find the variance variance is always represented by s square so our variance is going to be simply s square the formula is on the right hand side as you can see this is what x minus x bar square divided by n minus 1 so we figured out this one right up here which is 308 divided by n is how much we know that these data values these these values are seven of them seven minus one becomes six of course three zero eight divided by six is gonna give you fifty one point three 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 goes on and on and on this is our variance and now we're gonna figure out the standard deviation standard deviation is always represented by s so simply s is going to be simply what the formula is this thing the square root of sigma x minus x bar square divided by n minus 1 so we know that this on the top is 308 divided by 6 that is what square root of 51.333 if you take the square root of this one that is going to be how much 7.1765 is our value so thus our s turns out to be a 7.165 that is our answer and finally in this example over here we've been asked to find the median so what is going to be the median in this one over here if you look at the median medium is median is going to be somewhere in the middle median means what the middle number we know that thing so the middle number is going to be right in between so right now over here how we find when we have a two numbers and we want to find the middle number we just simply find the average of these two numbers so median is simply what is you add these number up 7 plus 13 and always divided by 2 that turns out to 20 over 2 so our median is going to be simply 10 and that's our answer thanks for watching